Hey guys, so today we're going to be testing out the McCart Femi Beauty Poly Gel Kit and I'm super excited to share this with you guys and as you can tell from the video before, I'm definitely excited to show you. Um, so to begin with, we have four poly gel colours that are all very, very different and very beautiful. You get two tubs of giant glitter mixes they have so many different like shapes and things inside you also get three different 3d charms which are all very very different um, and also your standard nail file and poly gel brush i'm also going to be using the mccart nail pump ups in xxl full cover stiletto which i've never actually used before so i did actually pre-size up before the video and just to let you guys know this is my first ever like voiceover slash youtube proper video so please be kind just before we get started as well, I'd just like to mention that if anybody has any questions or anything else, literally just drop it in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So first of all, I'm going in with the pinky glittery shade Princess, which I actually think it's called Y2K Princess, but I'm not sure if I'm actually saying that properly, so <laughs> forgive me if it's wrong. But I'm just going to dip my brush into some slip solution, which is going to basically make the poly gel very manageable. Uh, and as you can see, I'm just slowly pressing and dragging the slightest bit um, on the poly gel just to get it to spread in a very even layer so it doesn't go very patchy or anything like that. This also is a full freestyle set, so I don't actually have like a plan in my head at the moment as to what I'm doing. So now I'm just going to take some base coat and add it to the end of the nail where there isn't any poly gel. At this point, I'd actually realised I'd lost the tiniest bit of footage where I'd actually applied the unicorn glitter to the end of the nail. But, you know, it's all good. We're going to carry on. So I went back in with the princess poly gel colour and I just added that over the top of the previous layer of the glitter and this is going to give me a really good sticky layer that's going to attach to the base coat that's on my natural nail and then going to make sure that it's pressed on tight in any of the excess poly gel that comes out from around the sides so i'm going to use some slip solution and just swipe it away something that i always make sure that i do as well is I'll turn um, my nail over and I'll make sure that I've actually spread the poly gel up further up the nail as well because of a lot of it, once you've pressed a nail on, bunches up underneath your natural nail, which can actually cause a lot of skin irritation and can obviously get stuck to your skin once you've cured it. So I'm now going in and I'm just curing that nail and just removing the sticky layer on the top. And at this point, guys, I realised that I really did mess up because I hadn't left the sizings in the right order for my nails. So I'd actually had to go back in and refine my sizes again, which was obviously fun. So now we're taking the shade Kawaii Gang, which is a really, really cute, glittery, glitzy blue. Um, and I'm just going to start spreading that down the nail just like I did with the first one. And once I was satisfied with the poly gel, I just put it under my little LED UV light just to cure slightly and added a layer of base coat. I'm now taking that unicorn glitter again, as we did with the first nail, and I'm just applying enough just as a little layer just so that it can actually stick to it and it isn't just going to keep falling off. Once the glitter's all in place, I'm just going to quickly swipe around the sides just so that there isn't any glitter sticking out and just quickly cure that again so that the layer of base coat and glitter is completely dried. And I'm now going in with my Princess Y2K Princess shade again and I'm just going to blend that down from the midpoint of the nail down to the tip just to create this really nice ombre glittery kind of nail. I have got to say though that this nail has to be my favourite out of the entire set. I just think that the unicorn glitter with both the pink and the blue shade just goes really really well together and gives sort of like a sunset vibe um, and I'm loving it. Um, I've now gone back in with the kawaii gang and just spread that out on the inside of the nail to give me that sticky layer again to adhere to my nail. I've now pressed the nail on firmly and I'm just waiting for any excess poly gel to come out the nail um, and pressing it on firm so that now that when I'm curing that the nail doesn't lift or anything like that. 
I'm now going to go straight in on the third nail using the shade Yemisi, if that's how you say it properly. I may be saying it wrong, guys, so you might have to look that one up. Um, but I'm just doing it at the top of the nail again and just slowly dragging that poly gel down. Um, I did actually drag this further down to the tip of the nail than I did with the other nails as I wanted this nail to be just fully one colour. I then went back in with my base coat at the tip of the nail, which as you can see, I kind of messed up to begin with. Um, and I'm now going to be taking that unicorn glitter again and just placing as much of that into the tip of the nail as I possibly could without actually overcrowding the nail at all. And once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to go back in with my LED UV mini lamp again and I'm just going to flash cure that nail just to make sure that everything's stuck down nicely and properly. And I'm going to go back in with the Yemisi colour poly gel and just fully encapsulate that. I completely added a full layer again so it was completely encapsulated. The glitter was, it was sandwiched between the two layers of poly gel. I'm now just making sure that the nail's fully pressed down to the nail bed and doesn't fall off as I think you can tell it just did <laughs> but I'm just going to redo it again. For the next nail I'm going to be using the shade Glitter Fairy which is a really light nude with a slight bit of sparkle to it which I think is super super cute. I'm then going to take my poly gel brush and dip it into my slip solution again and just press the poly gel into the mould of the nail. And I think at this point guys I decided to do a French tip style nail um which i later changed my mind with but obviously doing freestyle sets you can just change your mind whenever you want and it doesn't really matter anyway so again when you're satisfied with your nail and you're happy with what it looks like i'm just going to go back in again and cure um whilst i'm doing this yeah i'm just checking my nails out because i just love the colors um i'm going to go back in with some base coat just dragging that down to the tip of the nail and this is just going to be the base again for the unicorn glitter. Again, just adding enough until you're happy with it. And again, when you're happy with the nail, I'm just going to go back in and do a quick cure of that to make sure that it dries. And yes, at this point, I realised I actually hadn't removed the glitter from the side of the nail, so I just got as much of that off as I could when it was dry. Um, and this was actually when I decided to change my mind about the design of the nail I was doing, and that I wasn't going to do French tip anymore. Instead, I went back in with the shade Glitter Fairy and just encapsulated the nail fully with just one big layer. And I'm just going to add the tiniest little bit of poly gel to the top bit just to make sure that there's enough to stick down to the base coat that's already on my natural nail. And again, pressing that nail down firmly to make sure that it sticks down properly and doesn't fall off when I'm curing. And then removing any excess poly gel that then leaks out from the side of the nail as well. So for this last nail, guys, I was super stumped as to what to do, so I just kind of randomly just started creating a nail so i went in with glitter fairy and then also added above that some kawaii gang and then i believe at this point i started having an issue with tubes for some reason <laughs> and then decided i was going to add a bit more of the yemisi at the top of that and guys i think i realized at this point that i probably should have done my pinky finger first as the poly gel started sticking to my fingers and because they were so long i just couldn't really do much about it at that point so again i'm just going to take my slip solution and then go back to the nail which i so coincidentally end up dropping so at this point i just had to give myself a little breather <laughs> and just correct myself and get back to it you know trust the process um so yeah i'm just going back in patting the poly gel into the mold of the nail and guys, when I tell you poly gel is sticky, believe me, poly gel is sticky. You have to be careful, like, for hairs or, like, any anything, really, that can get stuck into it, even your own fingers. I realised with this nail, guys, that it was going to be a situation of just doing it slow and steady and just trusting the process with it um, and just really trying to blend those poly gel colours together. As I've had a little bit of time whilst I'm still blending the poly gel colours together, I just wanted to thank anyone who's still tuned in and still watching, as it, this is my first ever video, so I know it isn't going to be perfect, but I really do appreciate the support from anyone. Um, and if anyone's got any questions or requests for future videos, please leave it in the comments below. Now I'm just doing the final touches on the edges of the nail, just making sure that there's nothing really poking out of it or anything like that. 
once again when you are happy and you are ready with the nail go ahead and cure the nail again which i'm sorry guys i know you can't see this on the camera i forgot to adjust um where i was but i did now um and i decided that with this last nail i did actually want to add a, the shade princess into it too because i just thought that it would add um a very nice kind of ombre effect to it um and as you can see i had a lot of spillage of poly gel coming out so i just went back in and removed that after making sure that my cuticle was free of poly gel i then made sure that the nail stuck down firmly and properly so that it doesn't lift the knee curing lamp and then cured my nail And now guys, onto my favourite part, which is e-filing. I got this e-file from Amazon a little while back and I'll leave a link for it in the description. I'm just tidying up the nails quite a bit around the cuticle and for any poly gel that escaped that I didn't see, I'm just gonna file that off and make sure that the nails are looking pretty and that they're in the right shape. For any beginners out there like myself, just be very, very careful when it comes to around your cuticle because I did actually nip myself like once or twice on my middle nail, I think. I'm now just going to put some more background music on for you guys because with e-filing I'd rather take it, you know, slow and steady instead of rushing it, hurting myself and messing it up. Now that I'm happy with how they look, I'm just going to go ahead and go and grab one of my dust brushes just to remove off all the dust that's collected up around my cuticle and everywhere else on my hands. Now taking a limp free wipe and my 2-in-1 Macar nail surface cleaner and slip solution, I'm just going to remove off any of the dust or anything else that's stuck on the nail that I couldn't get off before with the brush. I always make sure to clean right under the underside of my nails as well just in case because I always end up with a little bit of dust or something trapped under there. I'm now going to go in with my 4-in-1 um, nail buffer. Um, this has like a, a file and other things on as well but this is like the buffer that I normally use. I'm now just taking my McCart top coat and just giving a really good but even layer of the nail. And I love this point of the video because you can kind of start to see how the nails are going to look in the end. I've decided that for this nail, I really wanted to use the 3D butterfly charms. They come in like different sizes. So I decided to use two of the really, really small ones just to give a really cute 3D butterfly effect. As I am only using top coat as an adhesion for the charms, I'm just going to make sure that I really do cure that well so that the top coat is 100% dry and that the charms do not fall off. So I'm now just going to do the same again with the top coat on the second finger and at this point I wasn't really sure whether to put any charms on this nail or not yet and I do believe that I actually chose against putting one on this finger. I just felt like it was really really pretty on its own so I didn't really think it needed it. And then I'm going back in with a top coat on the middle finger which I did decide that I wanted to put um, one of the gold charms on top. And it's basically just like a big star with a little star dangling off, which I thought was super, super cute. Just to speed things up, guys, I went ahead and top coated my ring finger and added one of the bigger butterflies to it. I've then gone ahead and top coated my pinky finger, as you can see. Um, and I've just added one of the bows to that nail too. And they kind of have like an iridescent look to them. And I just thought it was super cute as well. So I added one of those and also cured in the lamp 60 seconds. So this is the finished look guys and I'm so happy with it. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all soon. Bye!